Does skateboard deck size really matter? It typically goes that bigger boards are more suited to cruising, slappies, and transition skating, and smaller boards are more suited to flip tricks and technical ledge and manual tricks. But what if you take the biggest board you can find and try and skate it like a small board? I've finally got my hands on one of the 10 inch popsicle boards from Heroin Skateboards, and I'm so damn keen to skate this thing today. So this is 10 inches wide, it's 32 and a half inches long, and has a wheelbase of 14.625 inches. I've skated the Smoke Beard 10 inch popsicle a few times lately. That board was 33 inches long, which is half an inch bigger than this. And the wheelbase on that board was 14.375. So that was a quarter inch shorter than this board. So this heroin board is slightly shorter, but has a little bit bigger wheelbase. But this also has heroin's razor top construction on the top ply, which helps catch your foot more when you're doing flip tricks to help it rotate easier. And wheel wells underneath to reduce wheel bite. That 10 inch smoke beer popsicle was so fun to ride and actually become pretty comfortable after a few sessions on it. So the slight change in dimensions with this board as well as the razor top construction and the wheel wells. This board is gonna be a lot of fun, but should also perform a little better as well, especially with flip tricks. So just like I did with the smoke beer board, I've got a few challenges I wanna set for myself on this heroin 10 inch. But first, let's slap some deck rails on, head to the skate park and get some first impressions of this board. This board is feeling so fun right now. I can't actually notice too much difference between the smoke beer tennis popsicle and this heroin tennis popsicle, but I've only ridden it for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get into the first few challenges. I'm gonna do the exact same challenge I started the smoke beer video on, which is five flip tricks over the hip. There's a little hip here at this skate park too. So I'm gonna try and get those done first so I can actually make a comparison of how this board feels compared to the smoke beer. And if the razor top actually does help with my flip tricks. Also, these are some sample deck rails that I just got in. I'm thinking about making my own. So I've got a few samples going. Let me know if you guys would be keen to pick up some stuff like that from me. I'm thinking about making some wax or some deck rails because they call me Leon Waxton and that is pretty on brand with me. I wax everything a lot and I just like to slide and grind a long time. So let's get into the first challenge, five flip tricks over the little hip. And then the second challenge, I'm gonna do the straight 12 on flat. So let's see if we can do all of those flip tricks on a 10 inch popsicle board. My theory was completely wrong. The razor top construction on this board did not help it flip or rotate at all. But when it come to flat ground, the straight 12, that was so hard. My legs are actually so sore from trying to pop and flip this thing and do 12 flip tricks on flat. I ended up getting them done. I'm so hyped that I did the switch tray on this board. This is literally the biggest board I've ever switched trade. And I feel like I did a good one too, so I'm happy with that. So the board is super fun to ride still, but it's just hard to do flip tricks, so yes. <laughs> Skateboard size does matter. I'll get into that a bit more, but I want to do 10 more tricks at this skate park while I'm here. There's a lot of good ledges and rails at this skate park, so I want to take advantage of that while I've still got a bit of juice left in my legs. So let's get those 10 tricks done, and then I will talk about why skateboard size does matter, but I'm sure you guys know why. Oh. Oh. 
that's it. So like I said in my previous video, smaller boards are gonna be lighter. So they're more suited towards flip tricks and technical ledge and manual tricks. And bigger boards are going to be heavier and have a wider riding surface. So they're more suited towards handrails, bowls, transition skating, and even slappies and cruising. So I'm pretty comfortable skating bigger boards and doing flip tricks and skating rails and everything on those bigger boards. In the last video, I had a pretty hard time skating that eight inch setup because it just felt too small under my feet, too squirrely, and there wasn't enough room for me to land on the eight inch board when I was doing flip tricks, even though they did flip faster and easier. So different sizes of skateboards are gonna help you skate different ways. So finding a board that is the shape and size that's gonna suit your skating the best, as well as personal preference that's gonna be more fun for you, is the key to skateboarding. Having fun and skating something that feels comfortable to you. Check that video out right here where I go over a bit more detail of the differences between smaller boards and bigger boards, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.